Today I will show you what a frequency separation is and how to use it in Photoshop. So let's split some frequencies. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. For all you guys who are not familiar with this frequency separation technique, I will explain you in a minute what it is and how to use it. For all you guys that are familiar with that, today I will show you how to use this technique on some other examples than what is usually used for, for skin retouching and beauty retouching. Alright, what the frequency separation technique is. Basically, that's the method to split your image in Photoshop into two frequencies the low frequencies and the high frequencies. The low one represents the shape of the image and the color of the image. And the high frequency uh, represents the texture of that image. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun on some real examples. All right, guys, this is the first image for today. And today I will show you how to straighten these sheets a little bit, how to iron them. First thing what we need to do is to separate this image into two frequencies. But before that we need to duplicate this background layer twice. I will press Ctrl Command J twice to duplicate it and then I will rename the bottom layer to low because it will represent the low frequencies or you can rename it to shape and color because it contains shape and color. And the upper one I will rename to high or you can rename it to textures for example or something else. And we will hide the upper layer and concentrate only to the low one for the start. Okay, we need to remove from the low layer, we need to remove the texture part. We need only to have the shape and colors for that. How to do that? Well, pretty easy, just blur that layer enough to remove all texture from the layer. For that, we will use Gaussian blur, okay? And let me zoom a little bit. And how much radius it's enough? Well, that's depend of the image. For this image, I don't know, we will see. We want to remove all those texture from, from the image. And this is pretty good because we, we are not seeing any texture here. We just have shapes of the bed and the sheets. And that's okay, let's press 35, for example. Or you can blur it even more, like so. Okay, let's, let's use the 40 for this. It's really okay. It's maybe too much, but it's okay. Then let's go to the high and let's reveal it. For this... We need to go to the image, apply image, and then we have this dialog here. We need to choose the layer for the low frequencies and we will choose the low layer, all right? And then we need to choose the blending mode. Let's choose the subtract. Let's use the scale for two and the offset for 128, okay? And that's it, just press okay. And we need now to put the this high layer into the linear light blending mode. And that's it. If I zoom it and let me see before that and after, before and after, it's really, really good. We can put this into the group if you want and rename it to frequency separation, for example, before and after, before and after, not things change. We just split the image into two frequencies. Okay. And now let's the fun begin. How to straight straighten up these sheets a little bit. Well, I will show you one really, really easy method for this image. First, we, want, we don't want to uh, play with the textures. We want to have textures intact, okay? We will only play with the low layer or we, ca or we can put another layer between those two and paint on that and that will affect only the uh, shape and color layer, the low frequency layer. Okay, let's first select some part of the bed here. Let's select, for example, let's use a pen tool and just select roughly this part of the bed just for this example here. And that's nice. Something like so, make selection and let's use a brush and press and hold Alt or Option key and choose some color here something like so. And now let's uh, hide the, the high frequency layer just to see what will I do. Let's fill this uh, selection with that color like so. And yeah, it's look really bad. But if you reveal the high frequency layer, it's something happens here. Okay, we will blur this a little bit. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur, just have these edges a little bit mm, feathered. 
something like so and we can make a mask and just mask out the upper part a little bit maybe 50 percent opacity brush and do something like so and that's not bad at all let me see before and after before and after of course if you don't like this color you can always put another maybe hue and saturation and clip it to this and desaturate it maybe or change the color to find a better color or you can find a better color here with the eyedropper tool in, at the beginning or you can make this brighter even and now if you see result before and after or just switch this before and after we really iron it a little bit and this is really fast and easy way how to straight some things up in photoshop without uh, spending too much time without messing with the textures etc etc it's really really powerful and easy technique before and after before and after all right guys let's go now to the second image and let me show you again how to straighten the sheets but with a little bit different method we will mess with the high frequency layer okay so we will uh, deal with this image here and we will try to straighten these sheets and this part that it's on the bed okay we need first to duplicate this background layer twice Control command j let's rename this to low and let's rename this to high okay and the same procedure go to the filter blur gaussian blur and blur it until you're satisfied with the results every image is different let's use something around 20 that's great because now we have only the shapes and the colors and we don't have those wrinkles we don't have that texture part because here that will represent the texture we can always uh, choose what the texture is and what the shape part is in this case everything what is not visible here will represent the texture okay let's go to the high layer and go to the image apply image and choose the low layer all right those settings photoshop remember those settings and just press ok and go to the normal and uh, sorry to this uh, blending modes and put it from normal to linear lights and that's it we have same result nothing happens we just split the image into two halves all right and now if you see every uh, every wrinkle it's uh, here in the high frequency layer and we need to play with that okay we will use the stamp tool here and we will put uh, the sample here from uh, current and below to current layer only and now we will play with that let's make the brush a little bit bigger and now we will sample everything from the high layer and paste it to the same layer okay i like to use maybe 50 percent opacity okay and just sample and draw sample and draw sample and draw and that's that's really what i'm doing now sample and and draw you can of course use 100 percent opacity but i like to build up this and see here just sample and draw the color and the shape stays intact and we are only messing with the texture here okay 100 percent opacity to fasten this up just for the sake of this tutorial okay and okay just need the smaller brush here to be a little bit more careful of course guys this is just for you to understand how to do this and if you're doing something like so you need to spend a little bit more time and to be a little bit more careful for this look this part here just sample and draw oops sample and draw sample and draw and you will straight this part too etc etc you, you can make a smaller brush and straight straighten this part and let me show you oops before and after before and after really easy and really fast method how to do something like so all right that's the second technique now let me show you the third method how to do that on a human face that's the most uh, most common uh, most common way how to use the frequency separation technique to retouch the human face right let's go to the next image okay this is the image for today and for example imagine that you want to get rid of these water drops from his face and if you use let me just duplicate for uh, to have a backup and if you use for example clone stamp tool 
that's okay but sometimes you know you will change the shape see this is shape changing etc etc if you use for example uh, the healing brush that's okay too but sometimes you can change the shape uh, by using a healing brush sometimes it's okay sometimes you can change the shape for this again frequency separation technique it's really fast and really easy to do let me show you how first let's delete this one and let's copy the background layer twice okay again this one it's low this one it's high okay and just go to the low layers filter blur gaussian blur and blur it until you cannot see these water drops let me see it's still visible 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 16 maybe let me see 16 16 it's good all right then go to the high reveal it go to the image apply image and choose here the low layer okay and put this high layer into the linear light blending mode and that's it we just uh, made this uh, frequency separation we just split the image into two frequencies okay and what we want to do now it's again to paint or to uh, retouch only the high frequency layer because we have these water drops only on a high frequency layer here let's use for example stamp tool it doesn't matter oops sorry yeah i already have it and just let's make this brush a little bit bigger maybe oops something like so and just paint with this or you can use a heal uh, healing brush it's okay too let me just paint this out that's great and this and this etc etc and now you can go all in the details and everything what you're doing here you are just messing with the textures you are not messing with the shape of this of this uh, image okay let's clone this out that's great okay etc etc and you can go like this in a lot of small details but let me see i just messed the keyboard that's nice and now i can zoom it make this brush a little bit smaller and just do something like so and I think that's enough for this tutorial. As you can see, there are a lot of things here to be uh, retouched, but that's not the point here. We will not go so that into the details. Let me unzoom it a little bit and let's just do this. Okay, and let me show you before and after, before and after. The shape of the face is preserved. We just messed with the texture, actually with the water drops here. That's really, really nice. Alright guys, now let me show you the fourth and the final example for today, how to straighten up a woman's scarf. So let's go back to the Photoshop and we will use this image. See how many wrinkles has this scarf and we want to straighten it really fast and easy. And the frequency separation technique, it's really, really good for this because if we zoom this, we want to preserve all those textures here from the scarf. And how to do that? Well, just split this image into two frequencies. Okay, let's copy the background layer twice, double tap and rename this to low and oh, again, this is high. Okay, and now let me see, go to the low filter again, everything is the same, blur, Gaussian blur. And now we need to choose the right amount of the blur here just to blur the details, just to blur the, the that uh, that part that we want to preserve actually. Okay. And if we zoom it a little bit and use the arrows a little bit more, we can see those lines that we want to preserve. Okay, a little bit more, maybe five, it's five, it's great. Okay, now we don't have those details of the scarf, only the shape and the color, that's great. And now let's go to the high layer, image, apply image, and just choose that low here press OK and put it in a linear light blending mode and see the shape and the details really really nice and again we will make another layer between those two and just play with that use the stamp tool and choose current and below 
Okay, and now we will make a bigger brush. Let's see if it's, yeah, it's really soft. That's what we need. And just use maybe 50% opacity or less, maybe 20% opacity is better, but it will uh, last longer. Let me just show you the point here. Just sample and drag, sample, drag, sample, drag, sample, drag, etc. etc. And first, this is just the global part, okay? Just sample and drag, and see how the details stays intact here. And we are only messing with the shape of that scarf. It's really, really nice. And after you're finished with this global uh, sample and dragging, with this uh, stamping, just make a brush smaller and just go for the details here, like so. Don't do everything uh, uh, like using, like use a big brush and just paint all over it. No, just go for details with the smaller brush, etc. etc. And now I can spend maybe 10 minutes to make this effect really nice, but I will make bigger opacity 50% just to show you really quickly how you can do that. Okay, and this part here, it's really messed up. Let me just... Okay, we need... For this part, we need to spend a little bit more time with smaller brush, you know, and just making this a little bit better. And of course, we need to change the opacity of that brush, etc., etc. But you understand the point here. You can really make this nice and straight. And if it's something that it's not eye pleasing on your image, this is really, really fast and easy method how to do that. Because in some other way, if you want to use just a healing brush or chrome brush, or you can do that with the dodging and burning too. It takes a lot of time and tweaking, but this is the faster, faster method. And let's, let's zoom it a little bit. And let me show you. before and after, before and after, of course, this can look, look much, much, much better. That depends of the time you invest in that, but this is the procedure how to do that, okay? Before and after, before and after. Of course, you can uh, pay a little bit more attention of the colors here to this part to be a little bit more darker and uh, gradually uh, go towards the light etc etc but if you zoom it everything stays intact i mean uh, the texture stays intact see before and after before and after this is really really nice and easy way how to do this all right guys that's it for today i hope that you understand what a frequency separation technique is for and how to use it you need to practice this a little bit more you need to understand it and to master it. And after that, you will have a lot of fun with this technique. It's easy and really fast and powerful way to do a lot of tweaking in Photoshop. And it's not just for beauty and skin retouching. There are a lot of applications for, for this technique. So guys, if you have any questions at all, please leave in the comment below and I will answer it. See you next week in the next fun episode. Bye bye. Just one more thing, this is just one and uh, common use method how to split image into two frequencies. There are a few more ways how to split image into two frequencies. If you found some other methods that work better for you, use them. Alright guys, use this technique, have fun with that and show me some examples. See you next week.